teams have cut their teams down to 53, and there's a lot of other stuff. Talking about players being on the pup list, trades for conditional late-round picks all over the place, fans and teams nervously projecting what's going to happen on the waiver wire. So a lot of fun. Focusing specifically on the team in Uptown Charlotte, though, today's moves indicate that the Carolina Panthers are playing the long game. It's year one for Frank Reich. Bryce Young is a rookie. So the urgency is not in the same place elsewhere in the division, say the New Orleans Saints level of urgency is. Dennis Allen needs to show something. Derek Carr's not a rookie. His window is closing. So the urgency level a lot higher on the Bayou. Or even the Atlanta Falcons. Prove it time for Ar Arthur Smith as a head coach. It's your chance to prove you could be a franchise quarterback if you're Desmond Ritter. This seems like this year is his opportunity. That's not the case for the Panthers. This year is not about contending, and Scott Fitterer is building the roster accordingly. And here's an example of that on Cup Day. Several vets were among those who were cut, including 30-year-old Eric Rowe at safety, 31-year-old Justin McRae at offensive guard, 28-year-old linebacker Deion Jones might have been the most surprising cut that the Carolina Panthers made. Meanwhile, Carolina made a trade. For whom? A seventh round. They sent a seventh round conditional pick to bring in a 24-year-old receiver. 24 years old is what you should be looking at. Carolina is playing the long game. They're looking towards the future. Frank Reich, he's trying to clean house and instill his program and find his own guys to build the organization around. And in doing so, he's cleaned house of many of the Matt Rule guys. Different head coach, different standard that players might not be able to live up to or might not fit well in the culture of. Five of the 22 cuts today were Matt Rule draft picks, including Shai Smith, Keith Taylor, and Brandon Smith, who went to Matt Rule's alma mater, Penn State. And this is kind of a quiet move today. Amid the trade and all the cuts, Carolina announced Austin Corbett, their starting right guard, a Super Bowl champ. He's going to start the season on the pop list, on the physically unable to perform list. And here's what that means. If you're on the pop list, you've got to miss the first four games of the season. Which means the earliest Austin Corbett can make his season debut, is against the Detroit Lions on October the 8th. Now, we knew for months that Austin Corbett wasn't going to start the season, but maybe we thought it'd be one game or two. A full month to open the season? This is another sign of the Panthers saying, we're going to be patient. It's not about making the playoffs this year. If they make the playoffs, great urgency it's lower than it is for some of the other teams in the nfc south and that is fine the way you need to think about this if you're a panther fan look at the 2011 carolina panthers new head coach new quarterback the carolina panthers went six and ten that year and it was a successful season why because they knew what they had in cam newton ron rivera set the foundation for what became the keep pounding, win with defense, building around Cam Newton, what ended up being a Super Bowl contender. 2011 was the start of that. Then you saw it ramp up, 2012, 13, 14, 15. You saw it ramp up. Carolina is starting that process. This is the beginning of that process. So don't set the expectations as if Carolina doesn't have a rookie quarterback and a coach in his first year here. Carolina is playing the long game, and they're trying to set the foundation for the long term. This year is not about making the playoffs. It's about setting that infrastructure and figuring out what you have in Bryce Young. And all of this, obviously, with so much being new, can take time.